Hey, what's going on guys? Eric here from Eric Miles, and as you can tell from the title, this video is going to be about Fuji Superior 400. This video was taken over a weekend where I was at my cabin for three days. I shot three rolls, and I really liked the shots that came out, but it's kind of all over the place, so kind of just bear with it until the end, and then we'll give you guys my thoughts. Hey, what's up guys? Eric here from Eric and Miles, and um, today we're going to be shooting on Superior Extra 400. Um, I think I'm gonna shoot it at 200 ISO, so instead of 400, just to get a little more, I don't know, uh, a little more uh, dynamic range, a little more dynamic range in the photos. preface with what you just saw was um, the morning and what you're seeing now is the next day afternoon so that afternoon if you want to watch the in-between part go and watch the vlog right now I didn't include the film stuff just because I didn't I thought I want to make a separate video for the film video so if you want to watch that watch the vlog then come back and watch the rest of this video Finished my first roll of uh, Fuji Color Superior Extra 400. Yeah, that's what my mom used to take pictures of me when I was like three on. Now I'm gonna load up another one. Am I done? We're on the top of this one hill. Shooting some stuff, we got the Jeep and my brother on top of the Jeep. Classic setup. I'm pushing my Fuji 400 to uh, 400, 800 real quick. Now I'm going to take one on this. Remember when? Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, check out this hauntedness. <laughs> I feel bad about this. I think I got a good shot right here. I got a shot. The thing lines up with the road behind it, and I got that like modern sun out of the way. So it'll look a little more like old timey. So um, I shot a roll yesterday. That'll probably be a different video. A lot of thorns here. There's me, you, and Walter. I picked this um film up at CVS. I got three rolls for like twenty dollars. So that's like what six fifty a roll, six seventy five a roll. Yeah, six sixty seven a roll. Why do you just know that? Because I know that. Nerd. <laughs> 67 a roll. So it's fairly cheap, but it's still. Yeah, put the, stop the loop the camera right by your side like this. Yeah. I'm... All right, and look at this, look at this. We, the, um... All right, I'm going to shoot this because there's like a cloud coverage over there and there's sun and cloud right here. So Almost to the end of this roll because I was like 20 shots in when we started filming this video cause from yesterday. Uh, but it's whatever. Probably gonna be the last last shot of this video. I'll have a bunch of other test samples after this, but um. John, when you're filming for me, you film me. I am the star of this show. Huh? Read it, respect it. Caution. Caution. Hazardous area. Mm. Water may become rough and water.
So overall, I was really impressed with the film I got, especially since I bought it at a CVS just down the street. I thought it would kind of be more like an Ultramax type film, but instead I was pleasantly surprised to have this actually I, I like the colors that came out of this more than I like the colors out of Portra. I know it's going to ruffle some feathers in the comment, but comments, but I feel like until you try it and get your scans back, you don't can't really say anything. Um, there are some people that are like, well, everyone says Portra is the best. So it's the best. No, it's not. You got to try stuff yourself. <laughs> Once you start listening, if you're a bandwagon and you listen to what everyone else says, it's kind of just kind of lame. So the colors that just came out of this were so great especially like straight out i hardly edited any of these shots um i edited a couple of them as you as you probably could tell but most of them i'd say 95 percent of them i didn't edit one bit the film this is definitely my favorite film stock now um i'm trying unless unless this film which i'll be making a video on next impresses me so much that this will be my favorite right now i'm just gonna buy more fuji and start shooting more fuji because it's just amazing the uh, dynamic range out of this is great i shot most of these at uh, 200 speed instead of 400 to overexpose it by two stops like people do with portra and i you could tell some shots were a little over, too overexposed for my liking but most of them were doing great yeah uh, i just definitely this film just doesn't get as much like credit as it deserves the colors, the grain, everything about it, everything about it was great. It's also super cheap too, so uh, that's great. And it's crazy accessible. You can get it at a CVS. So right now, this is my favorite film stock. I highly recommend it. If you haven't shot it yet, shoot it before you comment and saying, uh, portrait's the best. Just because it costs more doesn't mean it's best. It costs more because it's mainstream and everyone shoots it. I think, I think this is better than portrait. That's it. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this film video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Consider sharing with a friend if you thought it was cool or helpful. Stay tuned for more film videos I got coming out. I have one about Portra 160 coming out soon. Kind of a decent film. I mean, for the price, it definitely doesn't perform. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Peace.